Welcome into Extra Time. We're all going out for dinner tonight, aren't we? Ooh, what go. a moment. What a moment that's over. It sounds very posh, doesn't it? It does when you say it like that. I wouldn't call it dinner. It's I don't more think like sloppy place we're going. <laughs> Sloppies, that's what it is. Horrible. <laughs> and Craig's on the Diet Coke, everyone. Hey! <laughs> it's going to be pleasant for everybody. I'm driving, isn't I? Don't be uh, there long. Are you, are you driving Stevie home? Well, it depends if he's, if he's leaving in the time with me. I'll just go in and see whoever we meet. Hello, 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 hello. hello. Right, see you later. That's it. Man of the people. Uh, what's I mean, I could take you home. <laughs> oh. Oh. No, I'm taking my car home. All right. All right. There you go. Leave your car here and you can... No, I'm taking my thing. car home. No, no, I'm taking my car home. Aye, you can have a beer. Hey, we, could have, beer. we could have had a moment. You don't want great. a beer. Right, here we go. Right, we're getting a go with this. Uh, what has Craig learned? This is a theme from yesterday's show where I asked you what you learned from Euros and you shouted at me. Uh, what has Craig learned from England beating Kosovo? Uh, same, same as yesterday, absolutely nothing. Uh, Middle of the doorknot. Uh, what has Craig learned from the European qualifiers? Asked this person as well. McCrinkleberry. Nothing. Nada. Well, uh, the Dutch Germany game. Oh, so you did learn something. Oh, because that's competitive right. to an extent. I won't learn anything from France beating Andorra or Spain beating the Faroe Islands. Why the constant, that's in capital letters, Ooh. disrespect from your network Ooh. towards England? Zero Englishmen in your dream 11 and only one on the bench and no Kane or Sterling. What's up with this blatant bias? Hold on, Hold on a minute. Dream, hold on, what 11? So ESPN published their ultimate 11 today. Well, that, that's ESPN publishing their ultimate 11. It's got absolutely nothing to do with us. Okay. That'd be hushy. Nothing. No, I don't think, I don't think Hush did it. Well, and Is I can tell you this. In it? I don't know. No, there it was, was a lot of people. Leo, I, look, because I had to do digital on this. Was right? it FC? Yes, yes, being a writers, writer. And uh, writers. The, and, and there <laughs> were English. there were rules and limitations. So you could not include two or more players from the same team. Right. So when you start doing that and start shifting plays around, players around, then some of the English players may have not been selected because you're trying to pick guys like, well, let me see, Messi and Ronaldo. Right. So, got... so obviously, so no Kane because the front three is Messi, Ronaldo, and Mbappe. Well, they missed, the, really they missed the penalty, by the way. So why would you pick them? Oh. Again. It's, a, it's a Champions League. It's not the best of the week, team. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> I thought it was. It's a, <laughs> it's a generalization. It's like the one the ultimate. Oh, no, the thing I is, thought it was for the for the games that, that we've just been doing. Oh, no, Sorry, no, I'll but shut up then. People <laughs> got to you know, people got realize because Sam's on FC, it doesn't mean it's us. Yes. If my name's not on it. Or I'm not speaking on. I ain't got anything to do with it. Right. right. But, Same for the rest of the boys. Nothing. But Kane isn't in a Dream Eleven, is he? No. So that's. But what's the Dream Eleven? But is it clubs? I've given up. It's players. No, I mean international. I think just players in general. Oh what, really? What difference does it mean? International, or domestic? Oh no, I thought it was about international. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's, that's, that's why I started, but I just. I, I, dream I, Eleven I, of clubs. Of, of players in the world. So. Why do you keep doing that? So Harry Kane is now the best striker in the world. No. Well, so I don't he's know. not. So he's not in that. He's not getting no. in that. Oh, right. and by the way, he hasn't been playing particularly well this season anyway. Right. And are we taking Raheem Sterling, who's great, or Lionel Messi? Correct. <laughs> yeah. Not, and by the way, and I'll repeat it: if our name's not above it, it's got nothing to do with us. <laughs> nothing. Right. Ab absolutely nothing. <laughs> and, and, and to say that we are biased <laughs> against England. Now, well, could you name on. the one Englishman who's in the squad? So they did the 11 and then they had the bench as well. In the squad? Yes. i got to think, if Sterling's not in the 11, he's got to be at least in the no, squad. No, they're not in the hot, they're not in the squad at all. No Kane, no, no Sterling. I so, see that. so, so like Salah, That's Hazard, no. they're on the bench. Kyle Walker. Kyle Walker, I would say. No, you're in the right ballpark, though. Uh, Harry Maguire. No. Nope. No idea. No idea. Trent Alexander Arnold. Mm, he's not better than Carl Walker. Hold on, was that our writers? Yes. Say no more. <laughs> honestly, the <laughs> deluded Muppets. Most of them, honestly, I don't know where we get them. <laughs> no idea where we get them. There's so many of them. Drag them in. Uh, them. Stevie, I feel like this is for you. No wonder we get them in a brim cup of summer and say, just make them pick an 11 and then let them go away. <laughs> Prime Sergio Ramos. Versus last season's Virgil van Dijk. Who would you prefer in your oh, team, Stevie? No. Oh, and I win. Don't be silly. Cheer, cheer, Ramos did win five trophies one season in his prime. 
Yeah, but he probably got sent off three times that year and got booked 25 times as well. That's a lot of times. I, I mean, honestly, this, this, this whole Ramos thing, world-class defenders do not there. get sent off Where are you going? and booked every time they step on the field. Who's down there, Stevie? I'm starting to get worried. It's a screen down there. I just, I just, I don't get uh, He's this. up, he's up. I don't get this Ramos thing. Seriously. But he won the World Cup, won the Euros, I know won La did. Liga, won the but Champions League, won everything. Played, he's playing, he, he has played in great teams. But he's been and a I'm big part of I'm not saying he's that. not a good player. I'm not saying he's not a good player. But this having Ramos up here like some <laughs> icon is uh. complete nonsense because you do not get sent off and booked every time you step on the field if you're that good. You don't. What can Scotland do to get back into the international runnings, Ali? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what can they do? What can they do? Well, it's, it's a problem when you don't have a good enough players. Well, What's uh, the international runnings? I don't know, just back into some... But where are they in the FIFA rankings, Stevie? I've no idea. Oh, oh Do you know? Jeez, I missed out on that. I was too oh. busy looking at Andorra. You were looking at them all yesterday. Yeah, I just didn't think What has that. happened, though, with a young Scottish player? I don't know. That's, that's actually a serious question. Boys, when I was growing up... No idea. Well, enough, there's lots of, good, lots of young Scottish players. It's not very good. Correct. <laughs> or not good enough. Right. I bet Stevie Clark's thinking, oh, jeez, oh. I was running flying high at Kilmarnock, yeah. manager. Manager of the year, I think, and then he's taking that poison chalice. Final question, what happens first? Messi joins Miami, Scotland get out of a group stage, or Stevie tries nachos? Oh, nachos. You're going to have them tonight? They could be on the Ooh. menu. They're in the menu. We checked the menu. He's asking for shepherd's pie. Hey, well, if I'm going to have a nacho, I need to have a few beers ready to get rid of the taste quick. What do you think nachos are? Horrible. Well, horrible, they're, they're hot, aren't they? Mm? They don't need to be. No. They don't need to be hot. All right. I have some cool ones. What <laughs> <laughs> is a nacho, though? I don't eat nachos very often. How would you describe a nacho? Like little tortilla chips, yeah, little, aren't they? Chips well, with and, cheese. Yeah. And you can... Oh, the, yeah. What's the thing I was eating the other day to go off? It's got like a filling in it. That's quesadilla? Yeah, it might be. The quesadilla, by the way. Get it right. <laughs> nah, yeah, I don't like nachos. <laughs> what did Paul call them? Quesadillas. Quesadillas. <laughs> or tortillas. He goes with that as well. <laughs> Messi to Miami. Yeah. That's what, a, what, on holiday? No, there's a lot of talk that he's going to Miami. Uh, I don't know where the talk's come from, don't yeah, ask. You know where it's come from. <laughs> yeah, it's come from exactly. people. Your sources. Sources, this one. Like you know me. You made a couple of calls, Fingers and many pies. I can't believe we had to explain what nachos are. Come on, people. We're better. Oh, nachos and you get the cheese? It's, yeah. yeah. I, no, I can eat most things, but I can eat them. I just... Yeah. They're pretty horrible. Oh, OK. Stevie? Well, I don't know why we're into you. That's it. ESPN <laughs> FC is back. What, did, you, did you mention cheese fries then? Uh, we're back to Shaka, I think, returns. What? Where's he? Where's he been? He's been away for a while, hasn't well, he's he? A, he's going to miss and a you're good... supposed to be off tomorrow, but you're in tomorrow now. Is that right? Well, you know, Zee. Well, I'd like oh. to, I can prepare myself mentally for the day. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.